Indie dev tip number four, why you shouldn't roll your own tech, coming up. Hey guys, it's Travis Roman here again with another dev tip video. Uh, today we're going to talk about why you shouldn't try to roll your own tech. Now, one of the things that I see um, among a lot of game developers, and I have been guilty of this many, many times, is one of the things that we always want to do is we want to make our own game engine because that makes us more elite if we've made our own game engine instead of using one of those prefabricated ones that are out there on the market. Um, that's rubbish. Most of the time, those prefabricated game engines are just fine, and there are so many of them out there on the market. And truth be told, you, you wind up doing a lot of this behind the scenes work that nobody ever sees. Um, uh, I've heard of, uh, of this uh, being called dark work before, where um, the, that work never really sees the light of day. It's not something that's visually, um, that, that's visual uh, when it's done. And it greatly increases the scope of the game. So, like in the, in the, the previous uh, dev tip video, I talked about uh, scope creep. And one of the biggest forms of scope creep for a game is developing an engine for that game. Most of the time, it's not necessary to write, it, write your own engine. Um, now, like I said, I've made this mistake countless times. And I'm still, I, I work on that all the time to not, um, to not always write my own game engine when I'm trying to put out a game. And um, I'm getting better with it. And uh, as you guys will see as I continue this channel, um, I'll, I'll, I'll continue to get better at some of those things. But, um, you know, for 90% for of, of the games out there that you're going to be writing, there's no need to write your own game engine. There's there's plenty of tech that exists out there that's more than adequate to suit the needs of whatever project that is you're working on. Now, that being said, uh, when I'm at work, we have written our own game engine, and that's because we have very specific requirements that we need out of that game engine that the pre-boxed game engines don't give us. Um, and again, because of IP reasons, I can't really go into that, but... Um, a lot of uh, a lot of dev houses or, or larger studios, such as the one I work at, uh, find it necessary to 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 write their own game engine. And I had a hand in writing that game engine. And uh, one of the things about writing game engines is you have to refactor them, and that's one thing that we're currently doing there is refactoring our game engine. And that's not necessarily always a bad thing, except when it's a major refactoring that's need needing to be done. Um, and then that just adds the overall um, the the overhead of all the games that you develop. Um, but when you're working by yourself or you're working with a small team of people, you're not going to have the time or the resources necessarily to write your own game engine. Game engines take years sometimes of man hours. And let's say, for example, you have a team of 10 people, no, let's go with a team of five people uh, working on a game engine, and it takes them two years to complete that game engine. That's 10 years of development effort right there. That's a lot. Um, and so if you were doing that by yourself, it would take you around 10 years to make that same game engine, assuming you had the same level of knowledge and skill as that entire team of people, which you probably don't. I certainly wouldn't. I don't know many people who, who would. Maybe John Carmack. Um, but the idea is that it just adds so much more to the scope of your game by trying to roll your own tech. And it's time that you could spend doing other things, uh, like polishing your game um, and... You know, creating uh, good marketing content for your game and making sure the, uh, the UI is, is tweaked and, um, and making sure that all your components are, are um, as perfect as possible. Um, obviously, nothing is perfect, and I'm going to have a separate video about that, uh, per talking about perfection. But um, 
rolling your own tech is expensive when it comes to time and man hours. And it's generally not worth it. Um, like I said, there are edge cases where it is worth it if you work for a studio or something that has very specific requirements um, where none of the, the game engines that, that um, are available on the market work at the box the way you need them to. Um, then sure, go ahead and roll your own, but that's generally speaking, that's with a team of people. So anyway, um, that's about all I've got, uh, on that. Um, bottom line is if you're an independent game developer, especially if you're working by yourself, do not roll your own tech. It's generally not worth it. Um, because don't forget along with the game engine, you got to develop tools. You got to develop an asset pipeline. You have to develop... All these things that aren't actually developing a game. Um, and you could be spending that time developing your actual game. So, uh, anyway, um, thank you guys very much for watching. Please like uh, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.